I'm Emily Matskavichis. I'm a neuroscientist at MIT and I study songbirds. Songbirds learn their song from their father. And as adults, um, in the species that I study, zebra finches, only the male birds sing and they use the song to attract a female bird. The songbird devotes a huge amount of his brain and his time to perfecting the most beautiful song that he can sing to attract the female songbird. I study songbirds because I'm interested in what's happening in their brain when they're learning to sing. And I'm working in the lab of Michael Fee, who's a neuroscientist who's been studying songbirds for a number of years. His lab has identified two pathways in the brain that influence the song of the bird. The first pathway stores a copy of the bird's best song at the moment. The second pathway inserts random changes to the song. So sometimes it'll make a certain syllable slightly higher or slightly lower or sound slightly different. And as the bird is practicing, sometimes these slight changes will make his song sound better. There's brain circuitry which will update his best guess of what his best song is. So when the bird is singing to a female bird, he'll use his best copy of the song. So we're interested in studying this because bird song is very similar to how people learn speech. Even some of the same genes are involved in human speech and bird song. And so if we understand how bird song works and how birds learn to sing, then we can use that to understand how people learn to speak and understand speech disorders.